I didn't know what to do at that point, so I just went walking to clear my head. I looked at my watch and the time was 8.45 p.m. That's when I came across a flyer with your name and location of the office. I also remember hearing about you on TV. You helped catch those ID thieves. So I decided to come here to get your help. Do you think you can help Willie and Scooter, Mr. B? Because of some of my actions in the past, a little girl was kidnapped. She was never found. And although your case is a police matter, I'm afraid if I do nothing this time, the same thing might happen. So I'll help you out. What happened? Where were Where you? Were Where you were, were you? Where 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 were you? Rico, did everything go as planned? No, Myra. We ran into a small dilemma. Dilemma? What do you mean dilemma? Where is the money? They called Mrs. Wilson before we did and got the location of the money. How could you let them get the money? What are we going to do now? How did you and your friends find out about the money? Shut up, Rico. I had no patience for this. Look at me, you doggone noisy kids. You will never have another birthday if I don't get my money. Do you understand me? We don't have the money. Kevin does. Who's Kevin? He was with us when we found the money. We put it in a backpack, then ran when the police started chasing us. W Willie told him that we should split up, so he kept the money. You will call him and tell him to bring me my money, right now. No one's answering the phone, but the answering machine's on. Give me that phone! Listen to me, Kevin. I have your friends with me, and they need your help. If you don't help, they will die. So bring me my money to the corners of Joe's Bakery tomorrow. If you tell the police, your friends will suffer. Excuse me, ma'am. I've called your husband and he should be back Sunday around noon. We suspect that your housekeeper is in on this. Her address that you gave us didn't check out and we don't know where she is right now. We put out an APB on her also. With any luck, she should be in custody by the morning. Situations like this are really not that uncommon. Servant of the house starts to resent the owner's wealth and fame. So after a while, they develop a fixation and a thought that they deserve the money and the lifestyle of that person. I've run into several of these cases in my six years on the force. Thank you, officer. Would you like some tea? I like to drink tea before I go to bed to calm my nerves. Calming your nerves sounds like a very good idea. I just can't believe Myra would be involved in something so heinous like this. She loved Myra like a daughter. Whatever drove her to do this must have been terrible. Do you think I'll ever get my daughter back, officer? Yes, ma'am. You just leave everything up to the police. We'll get her back. Just so I'll know. What exactly happened here? Well, like I told the other officer, I was upstairs sleeping, and I thought Myra was in the study cleaning. I heard a noise that startled me. Oh, oh my goodness, my nerves are a total wreck. It's okay, ma'am. It's just the teapot. Anyway, it sounded like the front door closing, so I looked out of my bedroom window, but saw no one leaving. I called out to Myra, but there was no answer. Then I went to look for Masha. She was also gone. That's, that's when I called the police. Is there anything else you can remember about her that might help us? 
Well, like I told them before, Myra is from South America. She came here looking for a job to help her family. Most of them live there, but she does have a few relatives that live here. She once told me that she wanted to be here because she had lost her child there. She didn't go into any detail about what kind of a loss, so I figured that her little girl must have died. Sometimes she would look at Maisha as if she were her child and say, I found what I was looking for here. I dismissed it by saying it was just her way of dealing with the pain and never thought anything about it since they were both Colombian. It's funny that Myra has never been to the U.S. before, but she just so happens to come here to your house searching for employment. And she just so happens to find you and Misha who is Colombian. I'm wondering what kind of a lost did she mean? Now that you mention it, I guess it does seem a little coincidental. Well, if you would excuse me, I think I'll turn in now. Let me know if anything happens. Yes, ma'am, I will. Now you just go get some rest and please don't worry. If you need anything, just call on me. Do you remember the exact section of the complex? Yes. Do you remember seeing anyone walking around during that time? You know, their race, their face, or anything? Look, I was only looking for William Scooter. I didn't have time to make friends, okay? I know you're stressed out right now, but the more you tell me, the better our chances are to find them. Do I have to pay you? I don't have any money. Eh, hey, don't worry. This one's on me. Where do you think you are going? I'm going out to get a breath of fresh air. It's becoming awfully stuffy in here. I'll be back soon. While you are out, stop at the bakery and get me a Danish. Why do you continue to order me around? You want a Danish or retrieve it yourself? You will go get it or I will keep you share of the money. Scooter, we have to find a way out of here. I think that lady is going to kill us. You know, if they get the money, it's over for us. I hate the police, but if they get us out of this mess, I'll never be rude to another cop again. Yeah, me too. So what are we going to do? I don't know, but we can't climb out the window since it's nailed down. That lady is so crazy. She even made sure that those men couldn't get out of here. Or maybe she just wanted to keep out the rats. Rats? What kind of rats are going to be climbing up the fire escape and lifting the window? Big ones. Big fat Albert rats. <laughs> 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 <laughs>